On Sunday, June 2, Mama Hoff tied the knot with girlfriend Roxanne Wilshire in front of, of course, her well-known son and daughter-in-law Beyoncé. Beyoncé's close friend Kelly Rowland, Tyler Perry, Robin Roberts, the host of Good Morning America, Corey Gamble, and others were present. The Kardashian-Jenner family members were noticeably upset. In his song Smile, Jay-Z discussed discovering his mother's struggle to conceal her sexuality at 444 on July 4, 2017. Although Hav later acknowledged in an interview that Gloria wasn't initially on board with the song, they both came to the conclusion that the message was too important to keep to themselves. I S U P K. I got you. The first thing we're supposed to learn as a race of people is the fear of God. Right. That is the foundation of the knowledge of the so called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. This is what is not going to make the so called black man be lost in society, lost in the knowledge of the oppressor. Because the foundation, which is the fear of God, is not set for the so called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. We see in the example. No Jay-Z Mara, Jay-Z Mara looking to marry an ex-woman. And now we have sons and daughters looking up to these celebrities for example. Looking up to these celebrities for a guy. Looking up to these celebrities for a better way. And when we look to them, hear what they have. They have our people going against God. And when that happens, now we have God against us as a race and as a nation of people. Because we try to lay to name homosexuality with a thousand different names, we're going to no. find out the fear of the law. Homosexuality is an abomination. Right. Lesbianism is an abomination unto the most high. Right. And when we have the fear of the Lord as a foundation, then we can start to build. Then we wise. Then we're not building on sandy soil according to the scriptures. But now we are building on a rock. That is why we need to get into the eyes of the under commanding General Yahana and build on that rock. That rock which is the knowledge of the Lord, the fear of the most high power. The city eyes, it's time to poke off. My God, a real nigga, cause he want no flaw. Posted on the corner like a watchdog. Family secure, got that shot in the closet. Yes, yeah, Shalom Porter Spin. We are the ISTPK out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yahana. Alright, we are here to speak to the so called black man, the native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. To make us, as a nation of people and as a race of people, understand that we are the real Jews according to the Bible. We are the real Jews according to archaeology. We are the real Jews according to history. This is what the world wants to hide from the so-called black man, that we are the real Jews. The so-called black man understanding his true identity, his true bloodline, is what's going to make him regain control of the planet, regain control of his own spirit. And this is what we want in the ISUPK for the so-called black man, the native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. But when we look at the so-called black man, watch on the social media today. You know what happening? The so-called white man have our celebrities pushing a different agenda. When we look on the media today, you know, you know the last thing we read about two or three days ago? Jay-Z Mora married another woman from Trinidad. Now we know what they're pushing? They're pushing lesbianism. So we as a race of people must understand, Salakia. All right, so what We as a race of people must understand that understanding that we are the real Jews according to the Bible is the most important thing that the so-called black man could find out. That is going to make us understand our culture. That is going to make us understand our heritage, so-called black man. But when we see what's going on today, the place is full of a lesbianism, full right up a homosexuality, which has nothing to do with the so-called black man. And this is for make us understand that celebrities are not our leaders. Right. We are not to take any sort of guide, any sort of knowledge from the celebrities. Right. They cannot teach the so-called black man how to come out of this hell, how to rise up from the ghetto. All right, it's time for the so-called black man to understand that. So when the so-called black man looking, we see in the example, now Jay-Z Mara, Jay-Z Mara looking to marry an ex-woman. And now we have sons and daughters looking up to these celebrities, for example. Looking up to these celebrities for a guide. Looking up to these celebrities for a better way. And when we look to them, hear what they have. They have our people going against God. 
And when that happened, now we have God against us as a race and as a nation of people. You can read the article from Baba Bakasha before we go to the scriptures. Carter began dating Wilshire in 2018. When she began dating Wilshire? In 2018. In 2018. All right, this is the example that is being pushed on the so-called black man. Read on. After coming out as a lesbian. After what? After coming out as a lesbian. Now, nah, after coming out as, as um, a wife to a man. After coming out as a lesbian. After coming out as a lesbian. Read on. Escape Pop said, Wilshire was born in Port of Spain. Where she was born? In Port of Spain. Read on. And attended high school here. She attended what? High school here. So now the same she attended high school. So this is what happened to the so-called black man, native Indian man and Hispanic man. When our children are injected into the system, you know what we believe? We believe that they're being taught the right thing. Right? Because you know what happened? Well, she had her education. She went to high school. She went to high school, but she knew nothing about the Lord. Read on. Right. A philanthropist. A what? A philanthropist. Right, so here this read on and co-founder and president of Wilshire Foundation. Right, so she no business. She have an organization set up to read on. It is a charitable foundation. A charitable organization foundation. That aims to bridge academics, environmental health. A academics. Environmental health. Environmental health. Judiciary. 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 And cultural barriers. And doing what? And cultural barriers. This is what we must understand. The organization that was built up by this individual is directly against God. The, environment, the, the organization that was built up by her is directly against the Most High. It pushing for what? To break all cultural barriers. This is pushing the American agenda. The, this organization is a representation of America. It's a representation of the boiling pot. Everybody is equal. We are all one. And this is only to distract the so-called black man, native Indian man and Hispanic man from his culture, his identity and his heritage. That is why these celebrities are pushed up so high. That is why these celebrities are set as stars above the so-called black man. So we will look up to them and try to emulate their example. And it's time for the so-called black man, native Indian man and, um, native Indian man and Hispanic man to understand that this is not our culture. This is not what the Lord had set for us. Give me the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 7, Baba Kusha. And let me get a better idea what we as a race of people should hold on to. What we as a race of people should strive for. That is why we must understand the greatest thing that the so-called black man can find out is that we are the real Jews according to the Bible. Give me the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 7, Baba Kusha. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. Read that one more time. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. So the first thing that is supposed to be taught to the so-called black man, the native Indian man, and the Hispanic man is what? Read it again. The fear of the Most High is the beginning. The what? The fear of the Most High. The what? The fear of the Most High. The first thing we're supposed to learn as a race of people is the fear of God. Right. That is the foundation of the knowledge of the so-called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. This is what is not going to make the so-called black man be lost in society, lost in the knowledge of the oppressor. Because the foundation, which is the fear of God, is not set for the so-called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. Right. And that fear of the Lord, you know where you can find that? In the ISUPK under commanding General Yohanan. That is what we must understand, so-called black man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of our knowledge. Before we try to find out, it has six million ways to cook pork, learn the fear of the Lord. Right. So you will understand, so-called black man, that pork is not food. So you ain't go to try to write up a recipe book concerning pork as a delicacy or a dish for the so-called black man. Because these things are not our culture. Right. These things are not our heritage. Correct. Before we try to lay the name homosexuality with a thousand different names, we're going to find out the fear of the Lord. Homosexuality is an abomination. Right. Lesbianism is an abomination unto the most high. Right. And when we have the fear of the Lord as a foundation, then we can start a bill. Then we're wise. 
then we're not building on sandy soil according to the scriptures but now we are building on a rock that is why we need to get into the ISPK under commanding General Yahana and build on that rock that That's rock right. which is the knowledge of the Lord the fear of the most high power and then we can move forward from their so-called black man native Indian man and a um, Hispanic man that was all but fools despise wisdom but what but fools despise wisdom but fools despise wisdom that is why they will try to push yeah well she went to the college but you know what happening she despised wisdom right this is what the so-called black man must understand by despising wisdom this is how we see it happening to us woman marrying woman and man marrying man because fools despise wisdom and fear not the lord Get, drop that scripture for man give me, i believe it proverbs chapter 10 and verse 7 Bible for sure. give me proverbs 10 and 7. let me touch it one more time before we move along the so-called black man must understand what we're in today that war to understand that you need to need to reclaim your identity as a race of people reclaim your identity so-called black man and that's going to put you on the right path that's right that is why we always bring out the color scriptures in the bible this color these color scriptures is going to lead you directly to a bloodline right that is the purpose of these um, color scriptures in the bible to lead the so-called black man to a bloodline to lead the so-called black man to his family right that is what these color kind of scriptures is about to make you know who you are right Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 10 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom read that one more time the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom so you see we was reading earlier that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge now we're reading again the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom so when we as a race of people walking around here and want to believe or perceive that we're wise the first thing we must learn is what the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom you know and the knowledge of the holy is understanding and the knowledge of what and the knowledge of holy is understanding and the knowledge of the most high that is how the so-called black man is going to get understanding right so when the so-called black man saying, hey Lord, give me an understanding heart. Get the fear of the Lord. Right. Understand what the workings of the Lord is all about. Understand what the most I requires for the so-called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. And joining the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana, that is what the Lord requires. That you come in here and get the tools, the two so-called black man, to claim your inheritance, to redeem the kingdom to redeem rulership of the planet. Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom mm -hmm. and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So the so-called black man already getting a roadmap or a guide. When they're looking to bring your children up, you understand that the foundation or the basis of training this child is to instill in them the fear of the most high power. Right. The fear of the Lord. Then you know the walking about with knowledge. Then you know the walking about with wisdom. And then we're going to be able to understand as a community and as a family and as a race of people how we should walk. Right. How we should build. Right? The way we the path we must go on. Right. Whether we should go to the right or to the left. Because now we understand what the most I have set for us. We have men above us that is going to be that guide to trickle down this knowledge to give some sort of guide, some sort of counsel to the right. so-called black man through this war and right. through this hell. Right. It's time for us to wake up and understand who we are according to the Bible.